Hi everybody, this is Pete with Shadow Moses 112. Just wanted to give you an update on the uh, where I stood with the Cobra 2 Max by Anycubic. Uh, essentially what happened was I was in my previous printer uh, because of the issues that I was having with it. <clears throat> if you remember that there was a lot of Y-axis shift, I believe it was due through the motherboard or something along those lines overheating if I had to guess. Uh, just because the speeds were so fast. Uh, the thing is, I, I really do like this printer for several reasons. Uh, one is the cooling system here. Uh, I think it makes for a better quality print overall, but I do have some suggestions. Uh, when you get the Cobra 2 Max, immediately update the firmware through the Anycubic app, so that way you're using the latest version. I believe that would probably help with uh, future prints and avoiding some of the errors that I've gotten in the past. Another thing to do is they upgraded their slicer to the, um, the Orca-based Anycubic slicer. Uh, I've also created a profile to slow mines down. If you are interested in taking a look at that profile, uh, it does retain a lot of its speed. However, it does slow down in a lot of areas. I think it's about a little bit over 50% reduced than what the original speed came out the box. Uh, I am not one that's pressed on time like that. Uh, I typically see better print quality when you have a slower print. And given that these fans are so fantastic, you, you really get an excellent product when you're out there. Uh, however, I also wanted to go over some updates that I did. So besides doing the slicer and the firmware updates and slowing down the profile, I noticed that it was a hard time to uh, basically get this bed leveled correctly. And I had found a, a video on YouTube going over bed leveling specifically and went ahead and purchased some... Uh, you really probably can't see it here, but these orange uh, silicone bed spacers. I bought uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I believe it was 12 in the shorter one, and then uh, another one pack of the longer ones. The longer ones go in the middle, and then the shorter ones go out into the sides, and essentially created a uh, bed leveling test of squares about nine squares on each part that's one layer high to kind of see where I needed to tighten and loosen uh, my uh, screws over here. So essentially I would print out that print, see what was high, what was low, and then tighten accordingly. Uh, once that was all set, I haven't really had any problems with uh, bed leveling since. Another upgrade that I went ahead and did was I got the Creality uh, spool holder. Now what this allows to do is kind of minimize the footprint. I was able to move the spool from the side over to the back using the Creality one. The Creality one also does bend back and forth. Uh, I like to put it as far back as possible going up and through here. I was going to do a top mounted system but I would have to miss out on the filament runout tester. But here I have the spool holder located in the back and it's underwinding down up into the filament holder. So that way it prevents any um, tangling. So I was getting a lot of tangling uh, with it coming out to the side. I guess the default positions push out the filament further. And when it tightens back up, it likes to go on the outside of the arm. So what this does is help prevent that tangling. I believe this was a $20 purchase on Amazon. It clips on and this bolt here tightens the uh, how tight you want the uh, filament holder to move. I have it as tight as I can possibly get without breaking it uh, so that way it doesn't go back and forth but I can still move it when I'm done to reload prints or filament so that way I can start the next print. So the spacers, uh, the test here, the filament holder and, and it's slowing down the profile, uh, updating the firmware, updating the slicer, those are things that I recommend. Uh, the other thing is I, I really did like this printer so much and I didn't want to abandon the Anycubic and the Cobra 2 Max for the Y-axis layer shift or to prevent potential burnout in the future. What I also did was purchase a second unit. I know not everybody will have that luxury, but this helps offload some of the um, demands that we have. Uh, there are times that we do comic conventions, so we get a lot of prints that are going back and forth and running and running and running constantly. So to avoid overheating, we have to offload or offset that. Uh, Again, I haven't had any issues with either of these two machines since firmware updating, slicer updating, creating a slower profile, uh, doing the bed leveling on the bottom, 
and then having this new arm prevent tangling in the back. Uh, these are basically small upgrades, won't break the bank, that I would definitely recommend doing. Uh, they are super, super helpful for us to basically get good quality prints out of here. Uh, if you have any questions, please message me directly. I'll be happy to uh, post the, I'll probably post the Anycubic Max settings for the uh, bed leveling test on Thingiverse. So that way anybody can access it. Just look up Cobra 2 Max bed leveling test and it should be on there. Uh, I will upload that today so I make sure everybody has that. Um, as far as the profile, um, I, I don't know where I can post that where everybody can reach it. So just message me directly and I'll be happy to get back to you guys. Again, fantastic printer for the price. Uh, the large build volume I believe is almost 16 inches across and then much, much more, more than that uh, going up. So this is fantastic. I don't use it for big items. I use it for volume. So the bigger the bed, I'm able to get, you know, full products done in one printing versus, you know, several little printers uh, doing all the tasks. Uh, if you're interested in the market, uh, this is a very affordable printer. Can't wait to see if Anycubic does an Anycubic 3 Max, uh, but we're still waiting on that. Now's the time that they kind of release that, which is uh, we're in the beginning of November, end of October. Uh, but yeah, please, if you guys have any questions about troubleshooting, I'm, I'm more than happy to help. And uh, so again, my solution was getting the refund, purchasing another one, making sure firmware was updated, Crucial Slicer updated to the Orca version that they have, uh, filament winder in the back, uh, the silicone orange bed spacers. Uh, I got them in both sizes, but more of the short ones than the taller ones. Taller ones go in the middle, shorter ones go on the outside. Bed leveling test, see how far it is from the bed. Um, if it's really stringy, you have to loosen it so that it has more play to go up. And if you see it digging into the print, then you have to tighten it to keep it away from the nozzle. Uh, that's another thing that I have to remind myself constantly. So thank you for tuning in and hope this helps on your journey of getting the Cobra 2 Max working appropriately. Take care. Bye-bye. ShadowMoses112.com.